Hey guys, Max here with Phone Arena. We are at CES 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are at the Digital Experience, which is like the uh, trade show within a trade show here at CES. And we happened upon the Alcatel display, and they happen to have um, a bunch of Alcatel One Touch Idol X Plus handsets here. These are brand new. They are the first handset on the market to feature MediaTek's new octa-core processor that's a true eight cores of uh, power underneath the hood here two gigahertz each and uh, obviously providing a very fluid experience here for the handset uh, the rest of the form factor is, is very nice it's very elegant it is not over the top and it fits great in the hand especially for a device with a five inch display uh, you got this uh, metal uh, ring or treatment uh, around the bezel um, you got the micro USB dual speakers along the bottom. This particular device is a dual SIM variant. So you got one SIM card tray on the left side, and on the right you have the volume rocker there, along with the second SIM card tray. On the top you have the power lock button, three and a half millimeter headset jack, and on back we have a 13 megapixel camera with an LED flash. Uh, the camera does feature optical image stabilization, though that is software driven, uh, not mechanically driven. And uh, it's an overall very tasteful design. You can kind of see that nice uh, optical effect here on the uh, plastic casing on the back. Um, so that's an actual textured uh, desired uh, effect there that Alcatel put into place. It does like fingerprints on the back a little bit here, but don't worry because the screen is coded to avoid uh, getting too uh, many fingerprints on this uh, beautiful display. It's a five inch full HD 1080 by 1920 uh, pixel uh, display. Uh, it is uh, IPS. The glass is uh, dragon tail glass, which is uh, akin to Corning's Gorilla Glass. And uh, you know, that's about it. The user experience is very fluid. This uh, particular device is running Android 4.2.2. And uh, one of the neat things about it, they've uh, done some, uh, some neat features to uh, the camera user experience here. Uh, so if we go into the settings here, you can see um, you can get into some advanced uh, settings here, uh, ISO, uh, exposure values, and uh, make everything a whole lot more um, uh, manually driven. Another neat feature here they have is uh, they've added to the uh, user experience here the ability to do um, panoramic and uh, uh, hemispheric type shots there. You can see how it prepares you to uh, take um, a full uh, spherical uh, picture experience with the uh, display and um, that's about it. Uh, what else is there to know about this thing? The standard copy comes with 16 gigabytes of uh, storage. There will be a 32 gigabyte variant available. The battery um, that's providing all the power is a 2500 milliamp hour uh, unit. Um, it is rated at 20 hours of talk time. Uh, standby time uh, rated at uh, 320 hours on 2G and 240 hours on 3G. This is not an LTE device. Um, it is uh, HSPA and HSPA Plus, uh, up to 21 megabits of uh, download speed, uh, five to six megabits uh, upload speed on this device. So this, um, this baby is uh, gonna be hitting the market here soon. Uh, this is the dual SIM variant, so you'll see this in the majority of markets where uh, dual SIM uh, devices um, have a market. The, uh, there will be a single SIM variant, and uh, that is it. So as we learn more, and as we see more about this uh, nifty device, kept checking back here at phonearena.com for more about the Alcatel One Touch Idol X here at phonearena.com at CES 2014.